Did you know that one of the most important things you can do for your young children is giving them plenty of meaningful and loving touch? Hey, I'm Dr. Dave, and on today's Thrive in 5, I'll share some tips that relate to connecting with your kiddos and the importance of making time for nine. <laughs> Sometimes we think as parents that we either need to provide intense and expensive experiences for our children in order to connect with them, or we think we're just too busy to give attention to everything our child needs from us. But in reality, we can create and capture connection in small, everyday moments in our children's lives. And today I'll share some ideas related to a catchy concept I came up with called Make time for nine, and I even put it on a bookmark and give it away for parents to remember. So let's jump right in. The first nine to remember is nine meaningful touches. Most children and adults thrive with meaningful touch. I suggest at least nine per day, and these can be anything from straightening your son's shirt collar to a fist bump with your four-year-old daughter to wrestling and hugging a reading chair child on your lap. Babies, they need even more touch. You almost can't overdo it with babies. They need that touch. Even skin-to-skin -skin touch is so healthy for babies. What about teenagers? Yep, they still need touch. Our teenagers need a good swift kick in the rear and at least twice a day, right? Okay, just messing, but the key is meaningful touch. Too much for a teenager can be dangerous for your health. The next nine is what I call nine magical minutes that matter, and I break these up into three minute chunks. The first three minutes of the day when your child wakes up in the morning and you see your child can be crucial as it sets the tone for the day. Snuggling with them in your bed or carrying them upstairs to breakfast can be important micro moments of connection. Make those first few minutes when they wake up calm and comforting. I found it sure goes better than yelling down to them, get your can out of bed, you're going to be late for the bus, or why didn't you get your homework done or that paper signed last night? Again, the key is connection. It's the idea that people are more important than problems. The second three magical minutes that matter are the three minutes when you first see your child when they come home from school or you come home from work. When you reunite after being gone, take just a few minutes to reconnect and put away your phone or other distractions and listen to their day. Have a snack, sit on the couch, turn the TV off and genuinely listen to their lives. I remember my mom doing this as a child. Every day I had an after school snack and talked with my mom before running off and playing for the rest of the afternoon. The last three magical minutes that matter are the last three minutes of the day before they go to bed. Now I get it, bedtimes can create all kinds of chaos with young kiddos. So we do our best as parents to make those very last minutes count. Whether it's reading and snuggling in their beds with them, or singing songs, or saying prayers, or talking about their day, or fun things they have the next day. Children sleep better when they know they are emotionally and physically safe, when they know you love them. So create nighttime rituals of connection before they head to bed. The final nine in Make Time for Nine is nine minutes of conversation. Now, it doesn't have to be nine minutes straight, but make time to check in. Talk to your children individually each day. Find out the best part of their day. We call this a happy thought in the SRAM fam. What made them happy that day? Ask open-ended questions such as, tell me about your favorite toy or your memory or your worst fear or your best friend. Ask them about their favorite place in the world. It could be their favorite food, their ice cream, or their favorite subject in school. So the idea is to invest a few minutes each day to learn something new about your child's life. You may even want to schedule your own one-on-one -on -one date night with your children, where it's just you two together eating an ice cream and talking. Now remember, you may be the one asking all the questions, and that's totally fine. Make the time fun for both of you. That's the key. I recently had a drive with our 18-year-old daughters. We spent about two hours in the truck together. I listened to her life, her plans, and her fears. And it was just great time together. So there you have it. Make time for nine meaningful touches, nine minutes of talk time, Enjoy the nine magical minutes that matter. It, that is the first three minutes when they wake up in the morning, the three minutes when you see them after work or school, and then the last three minutes of the day before they go to bed. These are transition minutes, and you can make them moments of connection. 
I would love to hear what you do one-on-one -on -one with your kiddos. So leave a comment, subscribe, share, and give it a like if you found it helpful. So that's all for now. I'm Dr. Dave, and this has been another Thrive in Five.